to all the hard-working women and everyday super moms, we got a little something for you. It's Eva's Corner on the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. All right, Ricky Smiley the Morning Show, 12 before the top of the hour. Eva, good morning. Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, everyone. And welcome to Eva's Corner, where we talk about everything womanhood, motherhood, and the juiciness in between. And today, ladies, I want to talk to you. But fellas, you might want to listen up. So I want to know how the ladies these days with the pandemic going on are maintaining their sexy. As a mom of three, a wife, a working woman, sexy is not always on my list of priorities. But the truth is it is very necessary to maintain a very healthy mental as well as keeping the spark in a relationship. So I'm often asked the question, what do you do to maintain your sexy? And the truth is, I don't really have all the answers. So I wanna talk to you guys today to get some of the secrets from you to find out what we can incorporate in our day-to-day life to help us maintain our sexy. Now, what I talk about maintaining your sexy, I'm not talking about normal grooming and maintenance like hair or nails, not that, that's for you. I'm talking about going beyond that. So ladies, after a certain age, having children, um, you know, certain things need to be maintenance. So I wanna start with Kegels and Yoni beads. Now we brought them up before, I've heard Brad talk about them before, but Yoni beads are something that came out a few years ago and really took the industry by storm. And what it does is it causes you to exercise your muscles on your love below and keep everything nice and tight. There's also something you can do called a (laughs) V-steam. And a V-steam allows you to keep everything below. Keep walls strong. Nice. Sorry. Hey, talk about it, Brett. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's important. You got to keep them walls strong. It's just like any other muscle in your body. Go ahead, Eve. I'm sorry. No, I love it. I love it because <laughs> people need to understand what it does. And I have a lot of women that say, oh, I'm fine or I smell good. It's not about that. It's about the fact that we are, are hormonal people and beings as women, every month our stuff shifts and moves around. And so it's nice to concentrate cleanliness down below. So an easy way to do it is your V-Steam. A monthly detox can also be of assistance to kind of help you keep everything on track. And these are just a couple of things that I've come up with, but I wanna hear from you guys. I wanna hear what you do to maintain your sexy on a regular. So call 866-9-RICKY, that's 866-9-R-I-C-K. Oh, yes, Brad. Where did that that come from? I guess. uh, (laughs) I mean, whatever you use, get something to squish around up in there so you you wash it out a little bit. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) You, you can't just you can't just not get in there. You have to, so aggressive, wasn't it? Even yeah. though the V steam is amazing, everybody can't do that. So you just need to, you know, that bag your grandma had hanging on the shower. Yeah, you know, that big, <laughs> that pink, big orange pink square. Yeah. The, uh, pink the orange orange pipe. The long white hose. Big mama kept big hot mama kept them bottle. cookies clean. <laughs> that is not a hot water bottle. <laughs> and then here you is playing with it, and making it rain in the bathtub. You don't supposed to be touching, putting it all in your mouth and everything. <laughs> All right, let's do we have calls? <laughs> All right, let's go to the let's go to the phones. Good morning. Okay, my name is Kristen. I'm calling from Atlanta. And my husband and I, we role play. Like, I dress up. I have all kind of sexy outfits and wigs and blonde wigs and all kind of lingerie. And I just become a different woman for him so he doesn't have to go, you know, nowhere else. My name is Adrian. I'm calling from, I'm in Houston, Texas. I'm 51, about to be 52. So in the morning, I get up, I get to the gym. I do 45 minutes of cardio. And then I do about a 30-minute weight set. And then when I get home in the evening, I go to the track. And I do about eight laps. But in between those laps, I stop and do uh, 50 um, squats in between each lap. And so, hey, that's what I do. Definitely meditate and pass me pass me the bottle, honey. Get me a good shot of Hennessy and a good roll-up. And see my yes. kids get their daddy. <laughs> <laughs> that hit the mark right there. Ooh, I know that's right. A little bit of liquid courage will definitely make you feel sexy. So for all you women out there that needed a little pointers on helping you maintain your sexy in the midst of the world's climate right now, take it from our listeners. Work out, switch it up, keep it clean down there, keep it tight, and uh, yeah, you yeah, will the stay girl, sexy. The girl I used to talk to, she, I used to pick her up on the corner and give her $40 and she get in the car. And then I, you know, and, and that's, that's how we role play. Or whatever, so huh? it, it, <laughs> now she would be on the corner. I would drive up and give her forty dollars. Yeah. She would get in the car and we would That's go home. Yes, sir. Yeah, but we broke up because she kept doing it without me, and then she charged me more money. <laughs>